What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and day three of our return leg back to the UK and what road trip wouldn't be a road trip without a challenge between Sam from Seen Through Glass. Now this is my favourite type of challenge, we are going to be doing a fuel economy run. This is all down to the fact that I've just picked up my AMG and I'm kind of intrigued as to how good that car is on fuel with a bi-turbo engine. Sam has obviously done a fair few miles in his Jaguar. I'm feeling pretty confident because you've just had a quick silver exhaust fitted to it. However, it is 290 miles or 463 kilometers. I, mean, I just literally just converted that. The maths are insane. Wow. So 290 miles to the south of Germany and it's pretty much all motorway. However, Google Maps is saying that there are a few varied routes that we can take. So I'm going to have my Google Maps on. You're going to have your maps on as well. Yes. And we are just going to see who gets to Germany not only the quickest, but if you refuel, you get a 20 minute penalty on top of the time it has taken you to refuel. So basically, you're gonna get screwed over if your car can't make it on one tank. Which I think it won't for me. <laughs> oh God. So our cars are lined up outside our hotel. Where Go! We're staying. Right, okay, put the car into drive, parking brake off. And my Google Maps is telling me it is going to take me 5 hours and 10 minutes, 482 kilometers, not 460 like Sam said, his maths is all off and <laughs> he hasn't even got himself set up. So ladies and gentlemen, here we go, I've got a walkie talkie to talk to Sam, basically. For the first hour or so of the trip, Google Maps has taken us both on the same route. But then, things get a little bit interesting. Oh, I like the speed bump. There are multiple ways that you can go through Austria. That's just not gonna help his fuel economy. He is very stupid. Once we get past Innsbruck, again, there are two or three different routes that we can take, so, We've got the walkie-talkies to basically try and goad each other into going one way or another. Sam is sitting at about 80 kilometers per hour, meaning, once this car overtakes me, I'm gonna push on a little bit. I'm feeling confident that I can overtake him and take the lead. Here we go, I'm going for the overtake. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I am now in the lead. I didn't realize Sam was gonna take it so seriously. <laughs> it is time to slip the car into cruise control try and build up my MPG and I suppose enjoy the drive we've got four hours and 55 minutes to come 463 kilometers now it's just gone down and our arrival time whoa <laughs> whoa Sam doesn't care anymore <laughs> what was that now I'm in two minds do I catch him up do I sit at the speed that I'm doing? Slow and steady wins the race. This has thrown my mind. He has disappeared. It is fair to think that Sam is going for a one-stop strategy. I think he's going to try and refuel once and make up his time because I have not seen him in ages. I'm going to radio him in in half an hour and see whether he replies because obviously our walkie-talkies have got a range or a radius of where we can reach each other. So if he doesn't reply, then I know how far ahead he is. I think let's try the walkie talkie because I've not seen Sam for about half an hour but he can't go that fast unless he wants to get pulled over by the police Sam can you hear me there ladies and gentlemen is Sam's Jaguar F-Type 
I have caught up with him. Sam's motorway blasting really didn't do too much for him. <laughs> Look, I'm right here. Oh, how much petrol have you got left? I have lost one bar and it is telling me I've got 320 miles left. 320 miles? Yes. What about you? <laughs> I have 306 kilometers. <laughs> Update from Austria ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to Austria and I have just bought a vignette which is basically your tax for the toll, uh, no tax for the sort of highways, is that the right way of saying it in the Austrian highways? Exciting announcement, I am less than one hour away and coming up to a hundred kilometers away from our finishing point. I am <laughs> exhausted, my mind has been thinking all day and I've been on the road for about six and a half hours. So this has been a long day, a long video to shoot, but hopefully it has been a lot of fun as well. The fuel economy challenge has turned into what looks to be like an epic mountain pass in the northern, north of Austria. <laughs> the road is insane and I'm just plowing on, knowing I've got just enough fuel. If Sam even got to this point without filling up, he's gonna need to fill up before. There's no way that he will be able to hoon this car. We're half an hour away, by the way. So much for fuel economy. I am burning the remainder fuel that I had left over on this epic road. Ah, oh, the steering on this car is so direct. Things are starting to get exciting. We have found the town where our hotel is. Now I just need to 
find out exactly where it is. And, and, no, that's the restaurant. But that is, that is the name of, it says restaurant. No, that's not it. <laughs> no, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Left lane. That is our hotel, so, I just need to wait for these lights to go green. Interesting, here we go, green light. And... Here we go, this is it, oh it looks epic. You guys probably can't see it because I can't do two things at once. And Sam's car is not here and there's no parking spaces either. I did say there was parking just down the road. Can I see a Jaguar? Oh. Well, I can't see a Jaguar, but I also can't see how I'm supposed to get in. <laughs> this is gonna ruin it. Maybe I need to drive further down. Ah, here we go. They've actually got a proper entrance for it. <laughs> Quick, run, 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 run. Make myself look like I've been here for ages. I have just checked in, and I'm gonna go and sit myself right at the front of the hotel. <laughs> and basically wait for Sam. Oh, it's gone dark. Look at that. Library room. See, this is where I pulled in when he wasn't there. Some funky neons. Sam should put them underneath his car. And there's reception. I'm just gonna sit here. So, this is the bar area. I think they've got a fish tank over here. Let's have a look at the fish. They've got a dory. Probably out of focus, but Sam has just arrived. How long have you been? It's out of focus. It's out of focus. Two seconds. Okay. My camera's out of focus. You there we go. Play. It is in focus. You, now. You, I would have thought you'd have been so prepared. You'd have like multi angle setup. <laughs> How long have you been here? I've been here probably about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a little detour. Just a little one. <laughs> what? I ended up in like a mountain. <laughs> I ended up next to a ski lift. <laughs> what? I got so bored. Well. You're obviously not very good at these fuel economies. No, I'm really bad at fuel economies. How was your car on fuuel anyway? Yeah, not good. I felt like twice. <laughs> <laughs> so what, 40 minutes on top of two hours? I don't regret it. Wait till you see the pictures. It's, okay. out, it's outrageous. Yeah, I, but that, that, I was on a ski lift. Yeah, but even that drive in, yeah, like on the forest, was amazing. I burnt so the last bit of fuel. I didn't fill up once. Didn't fill up once. No. My AMG is the dream. Oh my God. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have won. We've made it to the hotel in Germany. Check out Sam's video because he is, well, I've just, <laughs> he's just swearing at me. Um, he's obviously had a pretty insane day, uh, which I'm actually looking forward to seeing your footage. Can I have some for this video? <laughs> Please? Yeah. Excellent. Great. So that is it. Thank you for watching, guys. Thumbs up and subscribe for more because uh, we're here for a couple of days and then we're heading home, sadly. But the road trip has still got two more days and we're going to go and find some epic driving roads in the south of Germany, which I'm very excited about. So see you tomorrow.